All right, ladies, thanks for joining me. Katie, I got to start with you here. This is insane what we're seeing. And I'm really, my heart goes out to you because you live in Florida with Governor the Super Spreader, as Michael Harriet calls him. Um, as a parent who's on all sides of this, put your legal hat on for me and tell me what can people do uh, when it comes to some of these lawsuits that are happening between school boards, parents, teachers, communities, and these red state governors. Well, Tiffany, we do have some very brave parents who want only the best for their children that have gone to the court system to say enough is enough. We need to be able to have a mask mandate for the students that go to school. Now, remember, the vaccine is only available for kids that are 12 and older. So particularly vulnerable children, less than 12 years of age, and even kids like mine who, God bless, is not a medically vulnerable child. They do not have currently a mask mandate because of governors like Ron DeSantis. Now, you have to consider if you don't care about my feelings as a mom or a lawyer, you really should care about the evidence and the numbers. And the numbers are startlingly bad. There's been a 550 percent increase in pediatric covid cases in one month alone here in Florida. There are no pediatric ICU beds available in Broward County on the second day of class in Palm Beach County. That does not have a mask mandate. Second day of class, Tiffany. 440 students have already been sent home to quarantine, 108 of which actually are students, right? And so, excuse me, there's 134 cases of COVID, 108 of which are students and 26 are employees. We have a very serious problem here. It's not just the kids as well. There were two teachers and one teaching assistant, all three of whom died within the span of 36 hours in Broward County, and school hasn't even started yet in Broward County. Why is my child a talking point for the GOP? My child should not be politicized for the purposes of trying to gain voters, like Ron DeSantis said. This past week, Ron DeSantis said, I'm speaking to the parents of these kids who should have the choice to send their kids to school without wearing a mandate. Well, I invite Ron DeSantis again to put his own kids in a place where the Delta variant is running rampant and where people are not vaccinated. It's not that the children it's the teachers, it's the administrators. And you know what? If you're going to do this, we're going to expose my child, then you know what? I don't know if I can take my kid to school or send my kid to school, but can we all afford to homeschool our kids? There is no remote learning alternative that's being provided to public school students right now, Tiffany. And I apologize for getting emotional about this, but what can I do? I, I think you speak for a lot. Hey, everybody, this is Charlie Kirk founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.